Hi everyone, this is uh, Francisco. So I'm looking for this word, the definition for Harvinder or Harvenhire, Harvenhire, but I don't think there's a word for that. So Google gave me uh, a definition for Harvinder. Harvin Dyer definition and I I started looking on the internet <coughs> um, through Google so I was ser searching the web and when it, was, it, it, it says the meaning of Harvinder is God of heaven God of heaven a tree a variant Spelling a variant spelling is Hallwinder, gender boy, origin Indian. Now, I don't understand everything that I'm reading here. Um, um, but just bear with me uh, because honestly, as I was reading this right now, it felt like it was describing like who I am as a person um, so here it is what does Harvinder mean the meaning of Harvinder is God of heaven God of heaven a tree a variant spelling is Harwinder gender boy origin Indian name numerology nine religion Sikhia Sikhia S-I-K-H I don't know how to pronounce that Hyroscope Rashi Karaka DDH Constellations Nakashtra and you know interestingly is showing the constellation and then it's specifying a a human in the in the category of gen of gender under gender is boy and anyway so the constellation is pushyami uh, that's p u s h y a m i m a h uh, p u s h y a m i h u H E H O D A um, Analysis by alphabet. Uh, what does each alphabet mean? What does each alphabet means in the name Harvinder? What does each alphabet mean? I think they try to spell in the name Harvinder. Each letter holds a specific meaning, meaning, but they spell meanings that describe the nature of the name. Below in table, each letter of name Harvinder described. Name, meaning of the alphabet. So basically, it spells out the word Harvinder. And um, so for H, it says, you are a visionary, but you also tend to make a lot of money and lose it fast. In the long run, however, you will probably be fine. You creatively will, your creativity will serve you well. A, you are your own person natural leader ambitious and free thinking R you feel things strongly in your rich intense inner life emanates outward you also have an excellent worth ethic and can do your job with a with high amounts of energy V you are a seer you have great intu intuition I you are a compassionate person who feels things deeply it makes sense then that you are also art 
artistic and creative with a great eye for everything from fashion to composition composition and you are a free you are a you you are a think outside the box kind of person creative and original you are also strong willed with the um, with the opinions to match d you are grounded and pragmatic you have a great systems in place for getting things done which is great because your sense of determination is strong e you are freedom loving sensual and enthusiastic you believe strongly in falling in love. In fact, you may do it quite often. You can see a situation from many s different sides. R. You feel things strongly and your rich, intense inner life emanates outward. You also have an excellent worth ethic and can do your job with high amounts of energy. Um, and then I think yeah I clicked on another one yeah right here and th this is what I meant by I don't really understand like what I'm reading because uh, as I'm reading this uh, uh, th this part this section of um, of this Google search um, it's a different um, it's a different URL a different website um, and I think these are like different definitions that people think. So, Hallwinder, the word, the art of being East Indian but still having the ready, readiest neck of all. Harvinders can't help but love them. Um, Harwinder, a male of Indian descent who re repetitively repetitively swings from a Jewish man's nutsack big balls Baker was so used to having a hard vendor he became mute without it Harvinder a very extremely confusing guy right confusing guy Shows that he has feelings for you sometimes, but they might just randomly stop talking to you at any time. Very flirtatious, man whore, will lead you on. Hilarious, full of charisma. You have to love him. Boys are jealous of him. Girls are jealous of the girl he is flirting with at the time. Not persistent. And as I was reading this, it, it's almost like if if it's it, it feels like almost like an attack, like someone is purposely writing this about my life as I'm reading this. Like, what the heck is this? Like a threat, you know? Because it describes me so well. It's it's crazy. Um, and if you guys want, I can read that again because. Um, it's uh, it's crazy just the way that it, it uh, was describing me as a person um, and I was thinking like man like if I was on drugs I would be tripping out right now like what the heck is someone like attacking me is someone writing this on purpose but it, it's not you know um, so Harvinder I'm gonna read this again a very extremely confusing guy shows that he has feelings for you sometimes but then might just ran randomly stop talking to you at any time very flirtatious man whore will lead you on hilarious full of charisma you have to love him boys are jealous of him 
Girls are jealous of the girl he is flirting with at the time. Not persistent. Changes moods easily. Moody. Greatest. Most most annoying person on the face of the earth. Yet, yeah, I still want to be with him. I am so confused about what to do about Harvinder. He is great, but confusing. He constantly makes me sad, angry, or depressed. It's upsetting. Is it worth it? Harvin Harvinder. He is the most dashing of all. The heart of all conversations. Lovable, patient, and above all, too caring. He is a typical Prince Charming material for every girl. A Punjabi. A Punjabi that loves to break bones but joins heart. Joins the heart. Joins the hearts. Harvinder is my crush forever. That's all it says. But there's more random definitions here. If I click on it. Oh, but it changes the word. Interesting, right? And if you guys are interested in like looking at this stuff for yourselves... It's a Harvinder definition. Um, my love for family dot com. No, it's my l l o family dot com, and then the Urban Dictionary. It's Urban Dictionary dot com. And just type in the word Harvinder. H A R V I N D E R. But yeah, um, I just wanted to to say all this because um, as I was reading it, like it really described me very well. Like you are a visionary. That's true. I'm a visionary. But you also tend to make a lot of money and lose it fast, which is true as well. In the long run, however, you will probably be fine. Your creativity will serve you well. You will probably be fine. I know that for a fact. Uh, your creativity will serve you well. True. You are your own person. True. Natural leader, true. Ambitious and free thinking, true. You feel things strongly and you're rich. Intense inner life emanates outward, true. You also have an excellent worth ethic and can do your job with high amounts of energy, energy which is also true. Um, you are a seer, you have great intuition, true. You are a compassionate person who feels things deeply true. It makes sense then that you are also artisty and creative with a great eye for everything from fashion to composition. Composition, true. You are a think outside the box kind of person, creative and original, true. You are also strong willed with the opinions to match, true. You are grounded in pag pragmatic, true. Even though I don't know what pragmatic even means, but I know I'm grounded. That's a fact. You have it. You have a great systems in place for getting things done, which is great because your sense of determination is strong, which is also very motherfucking true. You are free. Freedom loving, true. Central and enthusiastic. Enthusiastic. Enthusiastic, true. Um, you know, excited, happy. Um, 
you know, a go-getter, enthusiastic. You believe strongly in falling in love. In fact, you may do it often, quite often. Um, and I do believe uh, strongly in falling in love. Um, I fall in love with every girl that I talk to. It's crazy. I just want to fuck them all. In fact, you may do it off quite often. And I do. Whenever I get the chance. You can see you can see a situation for me for many different sides, which is true. You feel things strongly and your rich, intense inner life emanates outward, true. You also have an excellent worth ethic and can do your job with high amounts of energy, true. See that? Um, the art of being East Indian but still having the readiest neck of all Harvinders can't help but love them um, Harvinder a male of Indian of Indian descent who repeatedly swings from a Jewish man's nutsack. Big Balls Baker was so used to having a harvinder he became mute without it. I don't know I don't even know what this means right here. I'm confused about this one. Harvinder a very extremely confusing guy, which is also true. I, I could be confusing because I know a lot of, you know, information. Um, and I also know a lot from right and wrong. Like a judge. You know, you people, all you think about is winning. You know, for some people. Some people just think about winning. Um, like in a court case. You, you have the DA... You have the judge, and then you have you, you have the uh, a lawyer right there, right? So there's a lawyer, there's the judge, and then there's the DA. Um, for most of you, you just want to be either the the lawyer or the DA, and you don't want to be like you don't want to have a mindset like a judge who can think both ways, and can um, reason and think like a judge, like a seasoned judge that have been doing the work for a very extremely long time. So that person is well seasoned. That person is an expert. That person knows exactly what what. It's doing or he or she's doing right you know respectfully um, while a lawyer or DA might only have a little bit of experience but working their way up right but that's not always the case um, <clears throat> Already. Yeah. <clears throat> Our gas going to happen. Nah, I'm gonna stop. I, I need to stop. Um, for my own good, my own health. Anyway, so. Um, shows that he has feelings for you sometimes, but then he just might randomly stop talking to you at any time. Oh no, I was at the other one. A very extremely confusing guy. So that's true, right? I already said that. Um, um, but I was explaining why it could be confusing, right? 
and that that's that's the whole point right there um the point is that you know whether people look at me like if I'm like if I'm in the wrong it doesn't bother me or if I know what I'm in the right but other people think I'm in the wrong it still doesn't bother me you guys get it so if people out there think that I'm in the wrong even though I'm in the right it doesn't bother me or if someone thinks I'm in the wrong um, it, it doesn't bother me either way it's it just like I'm just learning you know while other people out there they don't have they don't have it within them to to allow other people to correct them or to belit to belittle them or to destroy their credibility you know and things like that things of that nature because you know and they'll they'll stand up for for whatever it is that they believe in even if they have to duel it out or you know fight to the death or whatever right um i'm not like that I'm more like a like a student and I'm just learning so if someone tells me I'm in the wrong even though I'm in the right I'm not going to get mad about it I'm not going to become angry I'm not going to even argue with this person I mean if someone out there thinks that you're in the wrong even though you're in the right is it even worth it to even talk to this person right think about it think about it it is it even worth it to spend another second with this miserable non comprehensive type of person no right so that's when I would just stay quiet and you know attempt to like just get out of this person's sight and never talk to this person again anyway so let me continue so that anyway so that was my definition of of uh, a very extremely confusing guy right um, because I I can sympathize with myself and other people right I'm not always in the right I agree and I'm not always in the wrong I agree right and if and everyone's like that and if you people out there say otherwise then you have a lot to learn yet you have a lot to learn still it all makes sense just how you look at the information anyways continuing shows that he has feelings for you sometimes but then might just randomly stop talking to you at any time true very Flirtatious, true. Man whore, true. Will lead you on, true. Hilarious, true. Full of charisma. I'm just going to say true, but I don't even know what charisma means. You have to love him, true. Boys are jealous of him, true. Girls are jealous of the girl he is flirting with at the time. True. Not persistent. True. Sadly, but true. 
You know, if a girl doesn't want to talk to me, oh well, move on, because I'm going to move on regardless. I'm not. I'm not going to stop my amazing, joyful life. Because there's a girl there. That. Um. That's a complete waste of my time. Like. Yeah you might be beautiful. You might look good. You might have the biggest boobs on planet Earth. You might have the biggest ass on planet Earth. You might be Mrs. Perfect. You might be the the woman that the Bible describes as... um, A virtuous woman. You know? You're ready to serve. You're ready to do whatever your man tells you. Especially once you get married, right? Whatever the case may be, but, you know, if you can't, like, read in between the lines, if you, if you can't, you know, like, open yourself up to someone, like, almost immediately, you know, um, then you're not. And if you're not throwing yourself at me, then it's like, it's not going to work out. Right? Um, and, you know, those, those are the people that I, I avoid. Um, because... Well, okay. There's this girl I was uh, playing pool with. And I betted her $5. Um, in return for a kiss, if she, if she lost. Well, she agreed to the deal. She beat me the first time. Alright, so we played again. We were playing... And the second game, and then before, like we even started the game, and I was, I was like, I was like, um, let's do double or nothing. I'll give you ten bucks if I lose, and if you lose, um, uh, basically, I'll be playing for for MacDown. So, you know, I wanted to to mack her down, right? To French kiss her. If she did, I don't even know. I don't even know if she understood what the hell I was talking about when I said mack down. Um, that is just another word for French kiss, right? Well, she was like, "No, no, it's fine. Just you know, let's just continue the way that we're betting." So I was like, "All right." But then she accidentally made the A-ball. She lost. And I was ready to give her my kiss. And she was like, no, 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 no. Um, it was an accident. Or, yeah, something like that. But I, I instantly knew, like, she wasn't, um, you know, um, trying to to go there with me even though we had betted and even though after the fact I gave her five bucks for the first game and not the second game but it's okay because now she's not even a part of my life she's just out there like the wind right it's out there but you just don't know where the heck it's at it's just everywhere No, but she's a she's a good girl, you know. But um, there's a lot of good girls, but I don't like I don't like good girls. Like it's good that you're a good girl, you know. 
you don't want to fuck everyone that you meet. That's great. But us guys, we want to fuck every female that we encounter, right? So, if you want to make men happy, just give it up. In other words, but either way, I'm not persistent. I could cut you off real quick. So that, going back to this, not persistent, that's true. Changes moods easily. Moody, true. I could be happy, sad, downcasted, annoyed, happy. Uh, I could, um, all that stuff. Greatest, most annoying person on the face of the of this earth. Yeah, I still want to be with him. This is true. Greatest, most annoying person on the face of the of this earth. That's very true, right there. And I know, I know this for a fact. And it continues. Yeah, I still want to be with him. Like it's either I still want to be with myself. You know, as a person. Or all you ladies out there still want to be with me regardless of the fact. Right? Um, and, it, and it's okay. It's okay um, to feel that way. Um, because when I create videos, I tend to do things on purpose for a reason. So if, if I'm annoying, I'm annoying for a reason. There's a reason for everything. It says, I am so confused about what to do about Harvinder. In this case, it's like myself. He is great, but confusing. Confusing, uh, he constantly makes me sad, a angry, or depressed. It's upsetting. Is it worth it? See, it's all true. That's what. That's why girls probably don't even want to be with me to begin with. You know, and it's okay. Um. Because I love every single girl out there. Especially women that throw themselves at me. I mean, it's not like I'm going to... Keep my, my penis concealed. You know? Uh, especially if you girls, like, just bend over in front of me. Of course. You know, like, pants down... Like, just go ahead, Francisco. It's all yours. Um, Harvinder, he is the most dashing of all. True. The heart of all conversations. True. Lovable, patient, and above all, too caring. True. He is the typical Prince Charming material for every girl. True. A Punjabi. I don't know what that word means. P-U-N-J-A-B-I. That loves to break bones but joins the hearts. Uh... Harvinder is my crush forever. Anyways, I just wanted to like get this out of my system. Just for the hell of it. Because I believe that I highly described who I am as a person. So in case any uh anyone or yeah anyone 
out there wanted to know or if if maybe someone wants to help me like on my dating bio or profile well you guys could probably squeeze this in there this whole video maybe just a link maybe just a URL code no URL website hyperlink just like less than one sentence right here from here to here even though this whole video is 36 minutes long 